Hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. I like to post about books and music, mostly Taylor Swift. If you can hear my fan off balance, I'm so sorry, but this, this is Oklahoma. It's October, but it's very hot. So it's gonna stay on and I'm just gonna talk over it. So today I'm going to be doing another installment in my Taylor Swift memes series. This is a series where I just gather up around 50 to 75 memes and just dump them on all of you once I have hit that limit. And a lot of you guys like to submit memes to the cause. I don't think anybody submitted anything this time. Sometimes it takes me much longer to collect them. Things have been a little dry lately, even with midnights and everything. Like, I guess we just don't have a lot of memeable moments, but let's just get right into it everything that I've collected over the past however many months since my last update. If you would like to submit memes to me for future videos, make sure to go follow me on Instagram. You can just DM your memes to me at your convenience. Someone said this is Jack Antonoff, Aaron Desner, and Taylor Swift, and I can't unsee it. This is cute. Taylor Swift doing anything. Their marriage is so adorable, and I love the pictures they have together that like Taylor took. God, this dress is so gorgeous. The Statue of Liberty references. I don't care how basic that makes me sound. Like, I'm just in love with the colors, the metallic sheen. Oh my god. This one will make you realize just how long I've been collecting memes. 1989 era, here we come. This love Taylor's version. The fucking Teletubbies. This love Dipsy's version. I was actually obsessed with the Teletubbies as a child. That's why I just, I knew I had to save this one. Tinky Winky was my favorite because he was the tallest and I was always very, very tall. So he made me feel less alone. Taylor's hair when she drops 1989 and speak now on the same day. You guys were so delusional. Back at that time period, I didn't want to be mean. I did kind of talk about this a little bit, but like in the same day, that's so commercially not a smart idea. But yeah, this picture fits if she was going to make horrible mistakes. Never forget how Kim lied and called Taylor Swift a snake, so she brought out a 172 by 40 foot snake every night on tour and then made millions from the tour. Someone retweeted it and said, every day I'm thankful Kim chose to name call her a snake. Imagine if it was like a rat or a cockroach, then we'd have a cockroach themed era. Ugh, nasty. I could see her like working the whole rat thing though, honestly. <laughs> the dog when Rebecca died at Key Lime Green. Even on my worst day did I deserve, babe, all the hell you gave me. <laughs> I imagine the dog doesn't care. I mean, as long as it's non talk toxic die. He doesn't know that he's green. Using your songwriting talents and successful producers to write memorable lyrics. Recording weird noises that came to you in a dream. This is honestly kind of jarring to see now because I saved this way before we even knew about Midnight's, but knowing she could be going for a fun pop avenue with Midnight's, there might be some weird noises. There might be some dream ideas, like all you had to do was stay. Nobody, the Death by a Thousand Cuts intro. What are these? I hate it. I hate it so much. No one. Scott Swift. Photo bombing, as per usual. It'd be funnier if they had pictures of him from like 2008, because then you would see how much he committed to the bit. <laughs> I love this one. Oh my god, this is actually kind of appropriate, because isn't there some kind of weird drama with them involving Selena? Like Haley went on a podcast or something? Going around the table saying what we're thankful for. Me, Taylor Swift, family. <laughs> I love this face. Oh my god. This could also fit with the, what was it called? The Tiff talk or whatever? Taylor in the gold dress where she was like, you stop it. <laughs> that face could fit here. When Taylor Swift releases all her re-recordings, the Grammys. That's so cute. All of her little pictures. That's a lot of nominations. Taylor doing anything us. I actually really loved her and Brendan collabing together. Me is one of my least favorite Taylor Swift songs, but I love them together. I think they're so cute. They make me think of like a little brother and sister duo. They're like the same height nearly. I love the music video. I think it was so fun and I love seeing them performing together. I just wish the song was better. How dare my brain understand all of these but not math. When Taylor Swift gets drunk and makes fun of the way you talk, what is this face he's making? He's drunk too. <laughs> Don't deny it. This is always gonna be funny. The way they used that still of her and just used it as the poster. Save on that budget. A frugal queen. <laughs> Waiting for new Taylor Swift music while listening to her old music for the millionth time be like, isn't this Centennial Park? Like where I used to read at Centennial Park. I used to think I would meet somebody there. She's like looking all low. And she showed Joe around. That's cute. Swifties. All too well 10 minute version. Taylor's version versus the all too well Taylor's version. Yeah, I've listen to the five minute Taylor's version maybe like five times. Like why would you not listen to the 10 minute version? What's crazy to me is I remember seeing people who were thinking like, oh, I'll listen to it a few times probably, but I'm not gonna listen to a 10 minute song as the default for All Too Well. That was always insane to me, even before I heard it. I was like, I know this is gonna be the replacement. Like this is gonna be its final form and I'm never gonna go back. And yeah, that's exactly what it ended up being for the huge majority of Swifties. You ready? Post it, post it, post it. Oh my God, this was when everyone was losing their minds over how fast she would like Joe 
those photos on Instagram. She isn't swift for nothing. Standing behind this woman in line for three hours now. I asked her when they're closing, but she keeps saying that she doesn't need my closure. Girl, what? Evil Taylor Swift be like, yes, body, yes, crime. <laughs> oh, they hate that. The lover tracklist order has to be a mistake. Taylor genuinely went, song about my obsession with British people. Really, really sad song about my mom. Sex, gay people are swag. I hate the track listing of lover. Towards the end, I kind of like the beginning, but I just feel like things are really weird in the second half. Like the B side, I guess. Us, Taylor's dropping 1989 tomorrow. Taylor's dropping Speak Now tomorrow. Meanwhile, Taylor Swift. <laughs> Me as the debut single from Lover. Cruel Summer, right fucking there. I understand people's critiques of maybe don't put the very best song on the album as the first single. It just would have been iconic though. This one is so funny. This is so funny. There's fear in her eyes. <laughs> now we all know why she was so afraid. Yep, he's the Lorax and he speaks for the trees. <laughs> oh my god, that's good. This is my first time noticing it. There is a ball on the boots. The mirror ball. That's funny. Her mind. <laughs> no captions needed. I keep reading hashtag meet me at midnight as meet meet midnight. <laughs> can't not see that. Meat meat. I'm vegan. This is amazing. Midnight Sun by Edward Cullen. You can't really see it with this board in the way, but this is Midnight Sun and Edward's version. Me trying to have a relaxing afternoon listening to Taylor Swift evermore. I love how much sense this makes with no context. It's a clock. It's a clock. It's a clock. It's also capitalism. <laughs> That's how capitalism capitalizes. I mean, it's four copies of the same album, Michael. What could it cost? ten dollars don't even get me started on how salty i am about the capital one bundle i'm so so sad uh i told my mom about it 30 minutes before they sold out and she didn't get back to me with her like the capital one card code to get in until 30 minutes later when it sold out like i literally had so much time i knew before a lot of people knew and i just didn't move fast enough but the only reason i wanted it was because it was 13 dollars. like that shirt is not worth 40 there's just no goddamn way and you know it's gonna fit wrong because i'm taylor's height but she doesn't cater to people who are also her height with her merch. <laughs> there was like another piece of merch I saw a screenshot of where, yeah, as the sizes went up, the length stayed the same. Like I'm the kind of person that will literally buy a 4X and then just like take in the sides because I want a bottom half of my shirt, but she doesn't want us to have one. So <laughs> my cardigan, my cardigan fits so ridiculously. I think I got like a 2X. It's so wide and it does not even come close to touching my belly button. Like it's a crop top. Okay, I'm done with my capitalistic beat. At least a clock is like truly one size fits all. I mean, as long as you have space on a wall to hang it, you won't be surprised when you order it and the size is wonky. Swifties after Taylor's reaction to the scarf question at TIFF. <laughs> the scarf is dead, Angela. <laughs> Corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They're the same picture. Why does her face look like that? I'm so obsessed. I feel like there's also something else she looks like, like some kind of cartoon. I don't know, her facial expression is like really familiar to me. <laughs> Threat level midnight. I've never seen The Office, but I like know there's an episode with this title. Fun fact, I'm actually the same personality type as Michael Scott. I don't know if that's good or bad. <laughs> there's a lot of people always talking about like, oh, Oh my god, I'm the same personality type as Taylor Swift, and I'm like, I'm the same personality type as Michael Scott. Midnight's First World Problems meme edition. Why does it fit? Oh my god. That's where her pose from that cover seemed so familiar to me. It was literally the First World Problems meme. This is like one of the oldest memes. What is this from like 2012? This was back when I would get my memes on iFunny. I think that app is still running though. Like people still use that. I remember when I was in like senior year of high school, there was a guy who like checked it every day, and I'm like, god, that's still around. Do you know what Taylor Swift's discography does to you? That stuff will make your head spin your spin head like a drug spin head further proves my point oh my god swifties speak now tv 1989 tv and midnight's re-recordings who i'm guilty of this i quite frankly just don't give a shit anymore <laughs> like i'm just tunnel vision midnight's vision there's a midnight's at the end of the tunnel and that's it when you know you're about to break the internet let's just take a second to look at that face oh my god what is this reminiscent of i swear to god there's something that looks just like this <laughs> reputation as a family bad blood get out of there that's not your family. <laughs> there was a reason she performed it on the Reputation Stadium tour. Bad Blood fits so well on Reputation. Kind of like how Gorgeous would really fit on Lover. Bad Blood should have said no. I love that. And Bad Blood's one of my least favorite songs. Red and Evermore. The Grammy we both deserve. I agree with this one so, so hard. Those are the two albums that I just am so mad they didn't get Grammys. Almost especially Evermore because like Folklore got one and Evermore is literally like part two, but like maybe even better in some instances. I just think it's stupid that the Grammys kind of has an unspoken 
unspoken rule if you won the year before you can't really win the next year it's so stupid like if somebody makes an album that's better than all of the other nominations it should get one like sorry guys make a better album that's what taylor said to herself when she didn't get nominated were you poisoned cursed kidnapped or enslaved that's so cute she fits the criteria of a disney princess taylor is a climate polluter and everyone hates her tour tickets are going to be so much easier to get i can't even get a fucking capital one bundle this is ridiculous it's like the hunger games i'm so sad i'll probably never see her in concert i don't know once my family moves to like washington or oregon it might be a little more likely because the cities are bigger even if i do end up in a bigger city it's like tickets sell out so fast oh my god the letdown my mood swings be like that was such a moment though both of them well probably the reputation one even more because that one was blunt like that was shocking while lover kind of eased into lover they thought it was a countdown and really it was just fun pictures the reputation freaking slapped us in the face on instagram i don't know about you but i'm feeling co2 <laughs> you know we can definitely criticize her CO2 emissions. It's definitely something that's like, okay, obviously she can't safely travel commercial because of weird people, like it becomes very difficult. But I don't know, like you go through security. She used to shop at like Whole Foods all the time. There's no security there. Like the TSA, like an airport is one of the safest places to be. And if she just flies first class and everybody can just like chill, I don't know. But mainly I think people's beef is with like, why are you taking five minute flights when you're not even like touring? I'm just not understanding why she is constantly flying everywhere every other day especially when she's not flying overseas like you can easily just get in the car that's safe criticize the way you fly when you're soaring through the sky very relevant right now <laughs> we've had a bit of a meme dry spell as i've said before but oh my god when that whole co2 thing came out it was it was popping there was a lot of material also i'm so pissed at the amount of hate that the guy who like tracks people's jets or whatever on twitter he's like what 16 and he's tracking these jets he has been fucking tracking russian oligarchs jets which has been an amazing thing to see like he is doing incredible work that is not even necessary and people are like hating on him on twitter it's so fucking stupid like get over it okay rich people could stand to be called out about their carbon emissions like it's really oh my god <sighs> some swifties but yeah i really appreciate what he's been doing as far as the Russian oligarchs. My family's Ukrainian. You know I love an onion boy. <laughs> I love their commitment to finding like almost an exact match of the font. <laughs> the media, you two are getting married. Really? Joe, why didn't you tell me? I would have put my book down. <laughs> this is such a good one. I love when people use like two different references in one. I can't even remember what TV show this is. This one's not really funny, but it's definitely appropriate. And I know it follows Taylor's beliefs. My heart, my hips, my body, my choice. I want her to sing it like that live. She's sheer cat Captain and Haim on the bleachers. The girl band Haim and then Jack Antonoff's band, The Bleachers. This has got intellectual layers to it. This is one of my favorites. Did you ever hear about the girl who got frozen? That's just a cute, stupid pun. The colors don't speak. The colors. Yep. <laughs> we all know what that means. The fake track lists being like, good night and sweet dreams. And here she is naming them mastermind and vigilante shit. When he calls you up again, just to break you like a promise, her freaking face. Her expressions are so funny to me. She's very expressive, emotive. I was so confused about the amount of M's because Midnight's Mayhem With Me and the album being called Midnight's and track 13 being mastermind. Then I realized M is the 13th letter of the alphabet. <laughs> Slut era, I say as I stay up until midnight to watch Taylor Swift play bingo. Yeah, we are definitely being a little bit, what's the word I'm looking for? I feel like it starts with a C, counteracting each other. We're being not cognitive dissonance. God, if I think of it while I'm editing, I'll put it on the screen. Ironic? I don't think it's ironic. Vigilante shit is the most unexpected track title I've ever heard in my 15 years of being a Swifty. Yeah, I've been here since I was in third grade. I can't completely remember what year that was, but my jaw hit the floor when she announced that. I've never had that kind of reaction to any track title. Google searches for vigilante definition peaked yesterday after the title reveal. Yeah, my mom didn't know what vigilante meant and I did not know how to describe it to her, so I'm guilty of that as well. Cause I Googled it for her. Sometimes I'm so poorly articulated. I think she asked me and I said, oh, you know, when you try to take matters into your own hands, like, see, I can't even describe it to you right now, like vigilante, like having your own sense of the law and acting it out, I guess. This is why I Google definitions. Try to draw a perfect star. Taylor, you stop it. See, that picture fits so many different scenarios. And we have come to the end of all of this updates memes. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please comment down below what your favorite meme was. I would love to know. Mine was definitely the Lorax and I'm on the bleachers. <laughs> if you want to follow me on my Instagram, it is right here. And if you want to follow me on my TikTok, that is right here. I will see you all next week for another video. And I hope you have an amazing day. Bye, guys.